with Aliyah, the show that brings you the flavors of Morocco. The fall season is back and it is one of my favorite times of the year, especially the ingredients that are now available like pumpkin. In Morocco we make this salad of caramelized pumpkins and walnuts, so I had the idea of stuffing the chicken with the caramelized pumpkins and cooking it in a tagine style. This recipe is a wower and you are going to love it. So let's start! of pumpkin and weigh it with the skin, 2 cups of walnuts, 3 tablespoons of sugar, 2 tablespoons of honey, for the spices we will need half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of ginger powder, half a teaspoon of cinnamon powder and a pinch of saffron. You also need 3 tablespoons of butter. Two Cornish hens, 2 to 3 pounds each. For the spices we will need half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of ginger powder, two teaspoons of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper and a large pinch of saffron, two tablespoons of vegetable oil and one tablespoon of lemon juice. One large onion grated, a small bunch of cilantro, half a cup of water, half a teaspoon of ginger powder, half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper and one cinnamon stick. The first step is to marinate the chicken, so we're going to mix the spices with the vegetable oil and the lemon juice. Cover the chicken with the marinade. Cover the chicken with a plastic wrap and let it marinate in the fridge while preparing the pumpkin. Step is to remove the seeds from the pumpkin. The next step is to place the pumpkin on a microwavable plate and cover it with a plastic wrap. Microwave the pumpkin for 12 to 15 minutes or until cooked. When the pumpkin is done, be careful when removing the plastic wrap as the steam is really hot. Let the pumpkin cool down for a few minutes, then we're going to scoop the pumpkin pulp in a bowl. If you don't have a microwave, cut the pumpkin into big chunks and cook them in salted boiling water. Now we're going to caramelize the pumpkin. On medium heat, melt the butter in your pan. Add the pumpkin. Keep cooking the pumpkin and crashing it with a fork from time to time until you get a puree consistency. After 30 minutes of cooking the pumpkin, now we're going to add the sugar, the honey and the spices. Increase the heat to high and let the pumpkin cook until it becomes dry. Stir from time to time. Chop the walnuts into big chunks. Once the pumpkin texture becomes dry, taste the pumpkin and adjust the spices accordingly. Mix the pumpkin and the walnuts. Reserve a small amount of the pumpkin mixture for decoration. The rest is going to be used to stuff the chicken, so let it cool down before using it. Stuff the Cornish hands with the pumpkin mixture. You will need toothpicks and cords for lacing.
last step is to cook the stuffed chicken tagine style. On medium heat, add the onions and cilantro to your pan. Add the spices. Add the chicken. Cover your pan and let the chicken cook for the next 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, add the half a cup of water to the chicken. Cover the pan and let the chicken cook until done. Stir from time to time and check on the level of water. Also, at one point, flip the chicken to the other side so the other side can cook as well. Once the chicken is cooked, before serving, place it in a baking pan and broil it for a few minutes. Cook the sauce left on the pan on high heat for a few minutes until it reduces and becomes thicker. Now we're going to serve the chicken. So first you serve the chicken on the plate, you put some of the sauce on top and you decorate with the pumpkin that we reserved for decoration. Serve immediately. Bon appétit